guys. Whew. All right. Goodness gracious. Sorry if you caught me napping during Doug's live. It happens, I guess. So today we're going to do a wall mural. Uh, I've already got some of it started because I didn't want to press all of it um, live just in case I didn't have time. So, uh, but I am going to press a few, a few pieces. So just go ahead and put those out here. All right. Okay. So, all right. So we're going to be designing a wall mural and we are going to be using Corel Draw today. And um, these new wall tiles from Universal Wood uh, have been uh, like my absolute favorite thing. I'm about to drop them in the chat. And uh, so, yeah, these are the easiest ways that I have ever, ever, ever done a wall mural. So um, we're going to switch it over to Corel. And I'm going to show you guys uh, how I design these. So here we go. Um, I'm a huge fan of the hexagon. Uh, also, um, I know it's dark mode, but I really like designing everything in dark mode. It's dark like my soul. Um, so I have this here is the wall mural for the 4931. This is the template. And so basically, I'm just going to uh, create a, a design. And I don't know if you guys have been into the James Webb Space Telescope like I have been, but this image right here is an image of the Carina Nebula. And I am going to put it on the wall here just so I can show you guys what it looks like. But more likely than not, I will take it home and put it on my own wall. So. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this uh, by hitting Control D. I'm going to hold down Shift. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not correct. Um, so I Control D, which you say it duplicates it. I'm going to hold down Control, and I'm going to move it up. And when I hold down Control, that doesn't give me any free range. So if I let go of Control, I can move it wherever I want to. But if I hold down Control, it's going to move it either exactly north and south or exactly east and west. So we're going to go north and south here on this one. All right. So now I'm going to do another one. Control D, but this time I'm going to bring this one down. Okay. And you don't really, well, I say you don't have to really worry about spacing, but I just kind of do this, uh, just kind of freehand it. Um, because once I put it up on the wall, especially with an image like this, um, uh, you know, it doesn't like you can once you put it on the wall, because these tiles are repositionable, you can take them off and put them back on and kind of adjust them to how you want. So I'm a big fan of the seven piece honeycomb. If you guys have seen uh, that mural that I've done yet uh, or before. All right. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to place it right here. Like I said, spacing is not really important. It would be if you were doing, you know, like a photo or something or uh, something like that. Come on. Come on. All right. Hold down control, move it down. All right. And then I'm just going to take these two. Nope. Not like that. Hold down shift, grab both of them, hold down control and just move them over here. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Oh, Lord, control D. All right, now move them over here. There we go. So this is my layout for, um, it's my layout for my, uh, come on now. Oh, my number lock's not on. So this is gonna be my layout for my mural. Um, uh, and then I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna uh, hold shift, Hold that center one, hit C to center it, E to align it, and then I'm going to uh, push it to the back. And I can't really see my outline of my mural very well, so I'm going to change that to pink. Hopefully you guys can see that a little better. Um, 
am I using Photoshop? No, I'm using Corel. I just like everything in dark mode. That's all. Uh, now I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to hold down shift because when you hold down shift, everything moves uh, constraint, I think is the way you say it. But if I didn't hold down shift, I would have to move one side and then move the other. So I'm going to hold down shift, grab my little node here and pull it in. Um, okay. Now, uh, I want to say, yeah, so on my class last week, um, I, uh, I, I'm sorry, not last week. It feels like it was last week. On my Selva Shrink class on Thursday, uh, I talked about power clipping. And because some designs, you have to use power clipping. Well, for this particular design, I am not going to power clip. Because especially when I do a wall mural, I feel like I have more control it when I weld. So basically, I'm just going to grab a template. I'm going to hold down shift, grab my image, and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to intersect it. And then I'm going to do that for every piece. Just intersect it, intersect it, intersect it. I don't know if I did that one yet. We'll just, okay, we'll do it again. Intersect it and my last one and intersect it. And then I'm going to delete and there we go. There we go. Now it's ready. Super simple, right? Like, okay. I'm, I'm sure I made it look really, really simple, but um, why not do a select all and intersect? You can. See, that's the thing. I've been, um, you, you know, I, I talk about this all the time, but I've been working in Corel Draw for almost 22 years, actually over 22 years. So I just do the things that come naturally to me. And yeah, I probably could have done that, but it was so simple for me to just do it this way that um, that I just did it. You know, like that's it's just I just did it. So um, yeah, so I mean, I can show you guys how to power clip it. Let's go back and I'll show you um, the power clipping of it. So let's go. Okay, so if I were to power clip this. And, and I'm actually not, I, I'm not even really very good at power clipping, honestly. So I'm going to group all this together. And then once again, I want to center it. So center an E. And then let's power clip inside and click it. Okay. Yeah, that worked too. But see, there you go. You guys are teaching me stuff. Um, but I don't know. I just, I, you know, like I said, I'm old school. Back in the day when I worked with Corel X3, we didn't have power clipping. So this is just how I did it. Um, is power clipping just the Corel thing? I think so. I think so. Yeah. And that's like Lisa said, sometimes weird stuff just happens when you power clip. I don't know. I, I don't know. All right. Let's get this bad boy out of the way. So that was my Corel lesson. Um, I know it wasn't uh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully you learned something. Uh, let me get all these. Hi, Tanya. Okay. Um, number on those hexagons. Uh, if you scroll up in the chat a little bit, I put them up there. I want to say it's, uh, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll put them in there again. U4931. Here's the link to it. And it's on sale right now. Uh, oh gosh, wait, let me double check and make sure. No, it's not. I lied. No, it's not. It's not on sale. What laptop am I, top am I using? It is a Dell that David Gross bought me. He is a Dell man. Not a Dell, but Dell. Okay. All right. So I've got my last two here um, that I'm going to print, uh, press for you. These do come with a peel coat on them. And I was kind of going really quickly earlier. And um, and I dropped a few of these, so I did kind of chip them. So you always want to make sure that they are cool before you start throwing them around like a crazy person, which at this point, I am a crazy person. Um, but I'm really excited to see how this mural uh, turns out because um, I like space. I like space a lot. So, all right. And I got to figure out, oh, actually, no, I am going to need my laptop up because I do need to figure out where they go in relation to each other. So let me, uh, let me change this camera so you guys can kind of see me a little bit better. Wrong way. There I am. 
All right. Yeah, I totally fell asleep in Doug's class. I was laid out on the floor just trying to, you know, get get comfortable. And uh, next thing I know, I heard him yelling my name. So sorry about that. Sorry. All right. Um, are they wood or MDF? They're actually hardboard. They're hardboard. All right. So, and they do come with a peel coat. And they're, uh, they call for a minute and 30, but because I'm going to do two at the same time, we're going to do it for a minute 45. Oh, and also, guys, I have, um, I have three uh, serial numbers for Corel Draw to give away today. So um, participate in the chat. Tell me how much you love me, and uh, maybe you can win some, uh, some Corel Draw. Uh, subscriptions or serial numbers. Yeah, Roger, poor Roger. He's, he's, he was very upset that he got the COVID. And I, I'm also upset that he got the COVID. Just, I just hope he's doing better. Roger, if you're watching, love you, buddy. My, my favorite Canadian. I don't, maybe I shouldn't say that. My second favorite Canadian. All right. One of my favorite Canadians. There we go. How about that? That works better. All right. So I printed this, uh, well, Bo printed this on the SG-1000 using the 13 by 21 inch paper. Um, and I'm just taping it like this. Um, and I'm going to get me some new protective paper. And like I said, because I'm adding one, I added 15 seconds of time. So uh, it's normally a minute and a half, but we're going to go for a minute 45. Medium pressure. It's, it's really hard to mess these up. Oh, I say that, but, you know. Um, well, thank you, Jeannie. I appreciate that. Uh, Janine. Yes, Janine. Um, all right. So. Now that these are cool, that's the other reason I wanted to do these quickly was because I wanted them to uh, cool. Let me, uh... the one thing I don't like about this laptop is that it constantly um, resets. So, uh, so, I mean, it like constantly turns off. So I always have to like enter my, my, um, uh, my password in like over and over and over again. But, you know, first world problems, I guess. All right, let's just, that doesn't look right. Is that right? That doesn't look right. We'll figure it out. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. This goes Like that, maybe? All right. We'll, we'll see what it's going to look like on the last two. We'll figure it out. You can tell, you can change. Yeah, okay, Lou, I, all right. I, I know that, and I've tried that. I've done it many times, Like I'm, I, and, and it just doesn't work. Like, I've set it to go to sleep, um, you know, for 30 minutes, and it, it, I don't know if it's something that, like, David did. I don't know. But no, I cannot change the sleep mode. I've tried, trust me. Gloves. Set it on never. Yeah, I have. I, I really have. Uh, I, I've done all of that. And, and it's still, it's got to be some kind of default thing that David's done. We're going to blame it on David. Can't blame it on Bo, but we'll blame it on David this time. All right, this guy... Oh, okay, that makes sense. That guy goes there. And then this little dude goes like this. So cool. Oh, it's so pretty. Let me get an overhead. Oh, oh, yes, good, 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 good. Let me show you guys the overhead of this. Look at that. Look at that. Look how colorful. So pretty. He says, call IT, they can fix it. 
Yeah. Um, the best place to learn Corel. So um, uh, Roger actually does uh, Corel classes. I think they're called, um, it's like lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A.com. Um, but uh, we have we do webinars with Roger all the time. So if you go on our con uh, conditv.com, um, you can find them there. There, uh, he he does great. But really, the best way to learn Corel is just to do it and mess around and play. Excuse me, I have the hiccups now. Play around and you know just uh just do it. All right, so. Like I said, the reason I love these things so much is because of these repositionable wall mounts. So I can stick it to the wall, and if I don't like the placement, I can take it off. Um, let me change my camera real quick and show you guys this. So this mural, oh look, there's the room. So those murals over there, I've actually taken them down and put put it, put in, placed them back up, and they're still sticking, so good stuff. All right, so this is the wall we're going to be working on today. Um, maybe. Ooh, dizzy, 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 dizzy. All right. So let's go back to me real quick. Um, all right, so the good thing about these is they have on them, it says wall side and panel side. So you know which side to stick to the panel, you know which side to stick to the wall. Can you just buy the wall hangers? Yes, you can. Um, uh, yeah, you can just buy the wall hangers. And the great thing about these is that you can use these for metal. You can use them for wood. You can use them whatever for whatever. One of these will hold two pounds. So keep that in mind. Um, are you available to use outdoors? Yeah, you can, but I, you know, it's, it, it's going to fade outdoors. So how many times can you take it off? As many as you'd like. Which one would you say is a better program corel versus rip uh i don't know what rip you mean like the rip software um are they easy to remove without damage in the wall yeah let's do that real quick i'm, I'm not gonna make y'all dizzy this time i'm just gonna do it myself um what is it what is it pointing at all right so um these have been up since i did uh the live with universal woods and there's nothing there and there's no residue here and then it's going to go right back up and um and stick perfectly so yeah these things are so cool definitely my new favorite way to hang panels whoop sorry i made you guys dizzy again i'm gonna stop doing that if i had somebody in here helping me <laughs> just kidding yeah, Corel's not the RIP software. Um, Corel is, uh, I mean, the RIP software is just kind of like going to, just going to help you print stuff and help you set up for print. Corel's where you're actually going to design. So, all right. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start putting these on. So panel side to the panel. I'm not going to take the wall side stuff off yet. I still got these two, which are pretty hot. So I'm going to wait and do those last. Where is Bo when we need him? He's probably asleep at his desk. Got a little bit of tape on that one. So the U4929 is the hanger. Uh, yeah, it might be back ordered, but um, because these are made in the United States, there's not that much of a lead time on them. So if you uh, need them, Go ahead and put them, put your order in. Go on ahead, put your order in. Do they work? No. Nope, they don't. Um, they're a nice thick hardboard. I think somebody asked me what the difference between hardboard and um, MDF is. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. How close is Corel to Illustrator? If you're f somewhat familiar with Illustrator, is it easy to figure out Corel? Yeah, but the thing is, it's like, um, 
you know, it's like saying, well, do you like, do you like an iPhone or an Android? I mean, it's, it's whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, if you're good with Illustrator, you don't need to learn Corel. Just use Illustrator. Um, that's it. That's it. Will they work on textured walls? Yes, they will. Yeah, well, yes, David. MDF is thicker. Thank you. Mr. Gross is watching. So I was just kidding about falling asleep during Doug's class, by the way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start hanging up uh, some of these because these two are still still pretty warm and I don't want the um, I don't want the uh, the wall stuff to come off. So, OK, so let's switch over to this camera here. Um, I usually have a level, but I don't know where it is, so we're just going to wing it. So. This is my first one. This is going to be my bottom piece. Um, and I'm just going to take this part off. It's very bright over here. And try to get it as level as I can. And I also realized that I am incredibly short and all of the murals are like at my eye level where they should really be up higher, but I am just a tiny person. So I'm going to, and I don't want a stepping stool. So, okay, there's number one. Um, let's go back to me. Uh, <coughs> Come on now, cool off. I really should, you, should, you really should, it, I, I would suggest starting in the middle just because um, it's easier to, to kind of put together and I didn't do that, so. What is the sticky, will the sticky stay on textured walls? Yes, it will, yes. Um, the only thing I would say is be careful of like bathrooms and things like that that have like a whole lot of um, uh, moisture in them simply because, you know, something like this is gonna be kind of expensive and, and I'd hate for you to break it or for it to fall. Is that, is this how it goes? Nope, that's how it goes, like that. Okay, all right, we're gonna go ahead and stick them on. Uh, do you use a digital level? I do. Ha uh, no, I just I have a um, just the regular old kind with the. Uh, I guess I could go get it, um, but no, I don't. I just use the regular regular old school kind. I thought it was in here, but it's okay. It's all right. Okay, so we're gonna do the middle one. Do they come with replacement pads? They don't come with the replacement pad, but you can um, buy the extras, so. And like I said, if you make a mistake, you can just peel it off and put it back on, so. I, you know what, guys? I felt I, I really felt like this class was going to be a lot longer than an hour, um, but it looks like it's going to be shorter than an hour. So maybe we can do some more Corel stuff. I feel like it's crooked. I feel like it's crooked. Let's see. Can you see all three of them? There we go. Looking good though. Looking good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Whoops. Okay, we're all right. This is hard to figure out where everything goes, though. David, I figured you would like this one because it is an image from the James Webb. So, yeah. Um, is 
Is that right? Why do I feel like that's not right? Hmm. We'll wait on that one. And there you go, just like that. Um, I mean, that's a it's a pretty impressive piece of art, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's something you could sell. That's like $150 at least. That's really cool. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, thanks, David. Thanks, 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 thanks. How big is each panel? Um, I want to say they're about six by six. Let's see. Uh, they're, oh, no, that's not right. They're eight by nine. So that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. What'd David say? What's David giving out some information? Resolution and print size needs to be 200. Yes, yes, okay, yep. Yeah, I, um, this is just an image that I found on Google, uh, but um, uh, James Webb is actually um, there. Uh, you can use all of their images. They're uh, open source or free use because space is awesome. I'd like to give this to Neil deGrasse Tyson, but he can't have it because it's mine. Isn't that nice though? What do you guys think? Uh, how much would you sell this for? Um, what is the size of the whole mural when put up? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go back. Uh, let's see. Um, the whole mural is about 25 by 26. That's, that's about the size of it in Corel. James Webb. Yeah, the James Webb Space Telescope. Um, $30 a tile. One, two, three, seven. Seven times three is 210 bucks, right? Is that right? I don't know. That don't mess. And by this point, I have no idea what's happening. Um... If it had something personal, David, cool. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. Somebody asked me if it would be good for a backsplash. Um, yeah, but you would really just want to use tile for a backsplash. Uh, I think the tile is a little bit better. Um, it's because, uh, you know, you can grout it and you can clean it. And um, uh, but something like this for like a kid's room. And I mean, if you really wanted to, like you could actually, you could do a whole wall if you wanted to. Um, it, like the possibilities are just endless. It, it's, uh, you can do, yeah, uh, you could do this for a wedding. Um, well, all right, Sherry. Sherry says you guys have richer clients than she does. Well, I mean, don't price yourself out on this. Uh, I can't remember who it was yesterday that was talking about um, the Chromalux, but I went to a restaurant in California one time and they sold a 12 by 18 piece of Chromalux for $350. So know your worth. That's it. Know your worth. Um, and something like this, that's super unique. And, you know, I mean, something like this is at least $200. If you were to sell this for less than $200, I would be upset. I would be upset. Yeah, that's right. They can't get it at Walmart. They can't get it at Ashley's. You know, they, I mean, if you are a photographer or if you uh, work with photographers, 
Um, I mean, this is a great thing to offer them. And especially like the hexagon design and, and the beehive pattern is so, 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 so incredibly popular right now that, I mean, I see it on um, TikTok all the time. I see people that, and oh, another th cool thing you could do is because there's space in between the wall and the tile is you could put like LED lights behind it and have it light up. Man, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Yeah, you can do a family wall. So it doesn't actually have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be a mural. Like every tile could be something different. Like let's say, you know, you have like the mom and the dad in the center and the six, whew, the six kids on the outside or, you know, grandma and grandpa in the center. Um, you know, be cool. Uh, murals and large panels command high price points. That's absolutely right. And then, I mean, you know, and like you guys saw, it was easy to do. Yeah, you know, I'd already kind of had a couple of them done, but this took me, I mean, it wouldn't have taken me more than an hour and a half. And the way it goes on is so much easier than the the wooden stacking blocks that you used to have to use for the Chromalux because those things were, man, I mean, it was hard to line something up and then you only had one chance to get it right. You had to make holes in the wall, so it was a whole big deal. Um, this is it. This is it. Uh, okay. What's a good market for these? What's not a good market for these, honestly? I mean, you could do, you know, kids' rooms. Somebody, know, you know, you could do weddings. Uh, you could do pets. I would love to have King on that. And, like, all, all the different little baby pictures of King. All oh, my baby. Um a helicopter scene? Yeah, exactly. My little brother, he's in the Coast Guard. Like, uh, I've got a really cool Coast Guard image of him, like, being lowered down. I could do something like that, you know, and have him on the bottom one. Uh, I know Antoine and Prince Services the other day, he did one of, like, a couple uh, on the beach. And, you know, I mean, it's just, you can do anything. You can, you can do anything. Um, please repeat the item number and price. I tell you what, I'll just put that, I'll put that link in there one more time. There you go. So, and and we also have, um, uh, do they come in smaller sizes? No, but they do come in a rectangle and they come in a square. So, um, you know, uh, I guess hexagon is in everybody's jam. It is mine. I really, really love hexagons. I'm about to get a hexagon tattoo, a couple of them. But, uh, uh, but, um, you know, so you could just do, uh, squares. Um, and like I said, like murals could do, oh, that Cheryl's got a good idea. Uh, do each tile with each year's school pick that would make a better presentation than frame picks. Absolutely. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Um, are the replacement tabs sold by Condi? They are. Let me, let me find that for you. Um, Here we go. These are the wall tiles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like the, I, re I really, really, really like the hexagon. Um, I'm really glad that uh, Universal Woods has caught on to the trend of the hexagons because now they have the wall tiles, they have the, uh, you know, the keychains, the ornaments. Um, it's just something about that shape that appeals to me. So I'm really, 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 really liking it. Uh, Y'all give me just a second. My water's over here and I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, and talking about like what other things you can make murals out of, uh, really anything. I mean, the tiles, okay? People use tiles like the ceramic tiles always. You can always use the ceramic tiles. Um, you know, even pieces of metal. Um, I don't have any up here because Bo's taken most of them down, but I've done, um, you know, like I'll have like a big piece of metal and then like three pieces on the end and make that into a mural. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Really anything you can hang on the wall, you can make into a mural, a tiled mural. Yeah, just water. Well, I do have my Gatorade. Whew. 
David, yes, glass. You can do a glass mural. Um, I would, uh, you know what, let's do this. I tell you what, I'm going to do something special for you guys. I'm going to take you out into the lobby and show you, um, show you what I've got out there. So let me, uh, this is going to be fun. Inner studio. All right. So, hush. Mute my mic. All right. So, let's go. Um, let's go see some stuff. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh, all the lights are out, which means I'm the only one here. That's okay. So, um, let me turn the lights on real quick. So, this is the glass wall, um, which I really like. Uh, I could have put them all together and kind of done more of a mural, but um, I really like this wall with all of our different glass in it. Um, <clears throat> This is a big tiled piece, uh, this piece right here. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, this is a cool piece. Um, this is for David's uh, That's pretty cool too. I can't. So yeah, let's see. There's also, um, this is actually one of the, my favorite pieces that I, I'm too far from the microphone. Okay, I'm too far from the microphone. Bo's still here. This is one of the favorite pieces I've done. Um, this is the Dynasub um, bronze or gold. And I just took uh, black and white pictures and put it on there. Can you hear me now, Bo? Bo? Can you hear me now? Okay. Well, anyways, this is a cool piece. So, yeah, okay. Oh, this is neat. Um, this is, I mean, when I say you can do anything with uh, tiling, this, these are floor mats that we made into a big tile. So that's pretty cool too. Um, yeah, hopefully one day we will have, um, hopefully one day we will allow people to come back in and check out all of all of our stuff. So okay, I'm back. I don't know if y'all can I don't know if y'all heard me or not, but that was the best we could. So yeah. Um all right, I'm getting out of here. Go, go away. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, David said yes. Yes. Wow, you guys are. Um, yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of really really cool stuff here. Um, just a lot of we have a lot of really really creative people that work for us. Um, and you know, uh, uh, that's 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 one of the reasons why I really like the in person open house because you can, you do get to see like all the stuff we can do, like those floor mats. I mean, that's something I walk over every single day and I don't even really think about it. Um, say again what the screen is made of. I don't know what screen, I'm sorry. I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess we could do a tour for our, um, for our Friday Live, we could, but. So yeah, uh. <laughs> all right, Whew, okay, so yeah, um, Linda, I see your comments, honey. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, where did you post the link for the tiles? They're, they're in there. You're just gonna have to scroll up. 
Yeah, the jester. Oh, the, yeah, the screen, the jester is on Chromalux panels. Uh, yep. Um, put together. I can't, we used to have those connections, but we don't, um, I don't think we sell them anymore. So, yep. Yeah, live open house will be fun. Um, <sighs> Uh, we, we can fit about 300 people in here. It's, uh, it's a lot. Um, there's a lot of people in here. Uh, but yeah, the jester screen was made out of, uh, uh, Chroma Lux panels. Um, well now NJ, so that was just the lobby. Um, now the warehouse in the back is, is not as, not as cute. Uh, the oven number, that's funny. Um, yeah, I, I get uh, I, I get I, I get to be creative um, sometimes. Um, I was joking with a friend of mine that I don't actually get to be creative anymore, that I have other people be creative for me, but that's not actually true. Um, yeah, we do sell Chromalux by the sheet. Uh, we sell it by in four by eight sheets, four by four sheets. So um uh the peacock it was on the wall um it was probably either made of chromalux or of um it's probably chromalux um the number for the floor mats uh i can find it let's see i know it's the bigger one so it's the uh FM 3660F it's this 36 by 60F Mm -hmm. And we did those in the lab with our um, maxi press and our big boy, uh, our big boy uh, printers. What were the sepia images printed on? Those were printed on the Dynasub uh, gold medal. So yeah, is Bo in here? Oh, acrylic. I don't know. All right, guys, that's about all. Well, I got six minutes left. If you, um, yeah, the peacocks on glass. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm going to end this a little bit early. Uh, oh, but first, I do have my three winners for my, um, the three winners for the Corel Draw. Um, and those three winners are Deidre Abbott. Maria Bambara and Gloria Zamora. Uh, Gloria, I love your name. So Deidre Abbott, Maria Bambara, and Gloria Zamora, please email me swood at condi.com. So yeah, Gloria Zamora. I love your name. It, it rolls very well off the tongue. So guys, uh, yeah, send me an email uh swood at condi.com and i'll get you those three um uh serial numbers for corel draw 2022 and i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you in about 15 minutes bye